We've got a new camera, so if you've got the bandwidth, click the gear icon in the corner of the video player, select your preferred quality, and enjoy the video in HD. I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorham, Maine. This is a really nice French provincial long farmhouse sort of kitchen table. I suppose it really looks like it must be 19th century. The legs, these curved sort of cabriole legs are very much like uh, Louis XV furniture, but this is very much a country piece. The base has kind of a wax finish on it. The top is great. It's just completely worn down to like natural wood. It has a great look to it. What's happened is a breadboard construction, which means the boards run lengthwise and these boards run perpendicular at the ends. I think when it was built originally, these two end boards were nailed down to the legs and they held these boards captive. But the tenons are so small. I don't understand why this tenon here is just tiny, tiny tenon. So what I intend to do is cut new tenons, not the whole length of the boards. I'm going to cut three tenons, longer tenons, and I'm going to glue the center one and leave the end tenons loose so that the top can expand and contract, and then reattach the top to the base as it was done originally. And that should hold it and it should work fine. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to find the center of the tabletop, and I want to find the center of my breadboard end here to mark out that tenon. Alright, I'm going to begin to cut the mortises for my tenons. I think I'll make my tenons uh, three inches wide. And I'll start with the center and then I'll mark out the two on the ends. This board is seven eighths thick, so I'll make my tenon seven sixteenths, half of it. Uh, where the old tenon is, I think that's fine. If I come in 3 sixteenths here, that leaves me 7 sixteenths from the old tenon here to where I'm going to cut new. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my dowling jig here. And I'm going to drill out first along the center of my mortise, then I'll clean it out with chisels. Okay, I've got my mortise all cleaned out. Now I've just got to do this 11 more times. Okay, I've cut all my mortises. I milled up some uh, hardwood, some oak to 7 sixteenths thick and now I am uh, cleaning out the all the glue out of the old tenon here and also fitting my tenon into my mortises. I'm going to glue tenons into these end pieces. So now I'll cut my tenons into three inch lengths. I've uh, carefully fit all my tenons into the mortises in my end. I've also, you'll see I've numbered these because I've also checked them into my mortises and the rest of the top. Now, all the tenons get glued into the end boards. All right. I'm ready now to attach these breadboard ends to the top. I'm only going to glue the center tenon here to the tabletop. The other tenons will be floating so that the tabletop can expand and contract. Because the top isn't flat, I have put these calls on here to hold it flat while I assemble it.
Okay, I've got the top back on the base here. I've been wondering all along how I was going to attach this top. There's no great way to do it. And I got to thinking, it originally was nailed down to the legs through the top. And I never thought I would do something like that, but I'm thinking it really makes the most sense. The nail holes are already here. If I nail this top down to these legs, it'll be secure. The center can expand and contract as it wants to. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm sure that the original nails were cut nails. I have new cut nails, but I also have a lot of old and antique nails. So I'm going to see if I have some in here that I think I can use. So there we go. This is a nice old French provincial table. And uh, all that was wrong was that the, uh, really was that, well the top wasn't attached, but plus the, the end boards of the breadboard end boards kept falling off. The tenons were way too small. So I put new tenons in it, and just put it back together, reattached the top. I think it looks pretty good.